What's up everyone? I'm still alive. Sorry for being gone so long. I'll be talking about my disappearance in another video, but enough of that for now. Today we'll be finally taking a look at something I've been curious about for a while now, and finally have the evidence for a visual representation. What I'm talking about is the Splatfest t-shirts. New to Splatoon 2, every Splatfest t-shirt has ability doubler in its main slot that multiplies the effect of each sub-ability by 2. For a long time, I wondered the difference between a pure ability doubler shirt versus a normal pure t-shirt. So all I needed was a Splatfest shirt with the three same sub abilities. Huge shoutouts to Riley and Bagel, two good friends of mine who completely made this video possible. Riley contacted me letting me know he got a Splatfest tee with three subs of ink recovery up, which is a perfect ability for this test. I then went over to my boy Bagel because he has pretty much every piece of gear possible, and they were both able to hook me up for this video. Here is the gear that is being used on the left. As you can see, the shirt is a normal pure of ink recovery up, which we will use for comparison with the Splatfest tee. And here is the gear that will be used on the right. The Splatfest Ability Doubler tee has the same three subs of ink recovery up. Notice that both of these gear sets don't have any other abilities that have to do with ink other than the ink recovery up that we're testing. Both of these tests will be ran with the Octoshot. The whole point of this test is to see which is more effective a pure with ability doubler or a normal pure t-shirt. While there is some data on this already, I wanted to see it for myself. Again, the left shows the normal pure t-shirt while the right shows the shirt with ability doubler. Let's take a look at that again in slow motion. As you can see, the normal pure is just barely faster only by a few frames. These results are to be expected, and there's a reason for that. A friend from the Academy server reminded me about ability points which is a sort of measurement of abilities made up by the players. Each sub-ability is worth 3 points, so on one piece of gear there are 9 sub-ability points. The ability doubler makes that a total of 18 max ability points on a Splatfest tee. However, a main ability on normal shirts is worth 10 points. So, a pure normal shirt has 19 ability points, while the ability doubler pure has only 18. Because of all this, these results make perfect sense. Overall, the difference here is extremely insignificant and it will never affect your gameplay, but I still thought it would be something interesting to test out for myself. Again, huge thanks to my friends Riley and Bagel for helping me to finally make this video. Be sure to stay tuned to the channel as the future has great things in store. I missed this community a lot while I was gone, and I hope to see you all again soon. Peace.